Hi, this is Pat Walker at Mission Winners. We like calm personalities. You don't want to be around a volatile individual. You don't want to be around a volatile stock. You like stocks that don't move around too much, that they, they just trend nicely. Like right here. This is just nice. It's nothing fancy. It's just walking up the 8 period exponential moving average. Nice price volume relationships. Green bars up, red bars down. Look, up on good volume, down on less. Up on good volume, down on less. Simple. Now look at this. Lazy days lifts off on good volume and follows through the next day and closes near the highs. And then it gaps down on heavy volume. Sellers. That indicates sellers. Meanders. And it lifts off Friday on great volume. Everything's wonderful. Today it gaps up and right now at this moment it's reversing down. So what's the moral to this story? Couple of them. Focus on clean and simple entry patterns like right here. That's good. Up here it's more aggressive. You're chasing price, which makes it more vulnerable to possibly pulling back. Take it a step further. Speaking of chasing price, buying up here, the trains left the station. Don't buy up here. Don't chase price. Look for clean entries. Chasing up here, first off, it closes here. It gaps up. So you're chasing price there. It runs up. You're chasing price even more from a safe entry. And now you're down a little in it. Please clarify here for you. I'm not saying, oh, this is awful. You know, from down here, I'm saying buying up here would be a mistake. High emotions and good investing don't mix. We're looking at frog. And one of the things I love to do is, and I hope you really get into this groove. It'll help you. I, I'm not kidding. Study price and volume on every bar. And people go, man, it's a lot of work. I will tell you, in, in a couple of weeks, you will train your eyes and mind on what to look for. You will be light years ahead of other people. You will be able to make better decisions. And I'm not kidding. I'm serious. This works. Just looking at the bars. So here we go. We're looking at Frog. It's a great name for a stock, isn't it? Going up here, just bouncing around. Bad pun. I'm sorry I had to say it. It's above the 50-day. It's above the 21 EMA. It's just right here, right at the 8 EMA. Just, just a pullback setup. Runs up, pulls back. Resting, consolidating on less volume. And that's good. I'm going to do something here I think might help us too. I'm going to delete this bar. Why? So that we can see the volume constraints a little bit better. So it's resting. Advance it just one bar. You have some tops right here. Advance it one bar. And it lifts through. And note the corresponding volume pickup. Now volume wasn't extremely heavy, but in relation to these price bars when it's going sideways, it's a good volume pickup. On this bar, it did a million shares. On this bar, it did 406,000 shares. On this bar, it did 781,000 shares. On this bar, it did 633. So here's a million. Did a million. It's a good pickup. Lifting off the moving average. Now, what would be a potential entry? Just taking out these tops right here. And it does have a higher low. This low is higher than this low. So you have a couple of things going for it. Bigger picture, this low is higher than this low that I'm circling. True? This low right here is higher than this low. So it's a new issue, higher low setup. It pushes through and it does it on a pickup in volume. Where would be your entry? And this is a mistake a lot of people make. They say, well, I'll, I'll wait and I'll buy it up here. I'll wait and buy it up near 81, okay? Because then I know it's good. 
No, you look at the daily chart and 30 minute or hourly chart. If there's a volume thrust, you should be buying it above the, this line. Found 77.40, 77.50 a share. That's your buy spot, not up here. You open yourself up to too much risk. So let's suppose you bought it going through that line. You're in okay shape, you're fine. Let's advance it one day. And this is today, Monday, 1019. The stock takes out the previous bar's highs and it lifts and makes a good run. And then it proceeds to give back a huge amount of that gain. Here's what it looks like on the 30 minute chart. Lifts and gives back. If you bought that, you gave back five point gain right there. And you don't know if it's over yet. Here it is on the daily. Note that tail bar. What's the moral to the story? It's very important. Buying at the right price. Pushing through this base, through that level, with a higher low, bouncing off the moving averages, with a volume pickup, is potential. Entry right here. Say at around 77.50, okay? Buying up here, a little bit more aggressive. Taking out these highs and running it up and buying it up here is reckless. It's not smart. Buy at the right price or don't buy at all. Don't chase price. I can't stress that enough. Focus on clean entry. I'm going to show you another one here, and I've shown this before, but I think it's appropriate to show again. Beyond Meat. Remember I just showed you the new, is new issue base on Frog? Well, look at this. You say, well, there's nothing here, there's nothing here, there's nothing here. I agree, but watch this. We showed a new issue base, high or low, on Frog. What do you have right here? You have a higher low. This low is higher than this low. It's a new issue, higher low. Had great numbers, just like frog. Apples to apples, similar situation. Buy it, taking out the tops of that bar. Advance it. And it does it right there on a volume pickup. And it makes, comes, runs up, pulls back on decreasing volume, and it marches and marches and marches. I mean, this is beautiful, folks. This is what we're after, right? I mean, that's a career. That was a past keyless stock. The key point is this, it had a higher low. Here's the higher low on Beyond, and here's the higher low on Frog. I'm going to pause for a minute and share this with you. Don't chase price, number one. Number two, and this is important, in no way, shape, or form am I inferring that Frog is going to do the same thing that Beyond Meat did. We don't do that. That's forecasting. We don't do that. But we do know and have the foundations down on a couple clean and simple chart pattern entries. That is a great edge for us and we know how to manage it. Entry here, safe entry here, not up here. We're in great shape. Anyway, this is a keyless stock. I just wanted to share this with you to complement also the other chart that we were looking at, which was lazy. Buying lazy here is much better than buying it up here. I hope that helps you. It's what we teach at Mission Winners. It's what we do. It's not textbook. It's the real world. Because when you're out there on the field, it ain't a video game. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.